All right, what's next for oil prices after reaching bear market territory? Let's ask Eric Weigand, Senior Portfolio Manager at U.S. Bank. So, Eric, this is the first time oil prices hit bear market territory since last August. Clearly, those OPEC cuts from late last year didn't do anything to raise the bar on prices. They, they really didn't address the supply and demand imbalance. Interestingly enough, we've had a production response here in the United States that has effectively uh, overwhelmed the, the reduction both by OPEC and some of the large non-OPEC uh, producers. Rig counts have, have certainly uh, surged uh, off the lows and you know North American production continues to, to you know to offset those those decreases. But this drop in oil prices to $43 a barrel is that more of a supply issue versus a demand issue? In other words, usually when you see sometimes when you see falling oil prices, people worry about global growth. But but that's not really in the equation here right now. Not just yet, but that will be cause for concern as investors look forward. Uh, rightly so, you're looking at it's a two-sided equation. On one side, supply we are seeing uh, North American production increase. Demand hasn't uh, diminished, you know, exacerbating that imbalance, uh, but it's something that we'll, we'll truly look at. Uh, we're generally seeing firming economic activity uh, around the world. Uh, the biggest consumer, the swing consumer, has been the Chinese, and, and there's some moderation there. Uh, so there's a, a lot to, to learn yet. Uh, as we look towards the future for, for energy. And we know last year and the year before, any time oil prices dropped, the stock market would drop by a similar amount. So does this current bear market in oil matter much for the stock market? We know energy is, what, 6% of the S&P 500. We also know a lot of financial firms are lending to the energy sector. You know, it, it does have, uh, you know, broad-based implications. Uh, we're not uh, overly concerned uh, just yet uh, but what is, what will be very important will be, you know, as we move into second quarter earnings season, so much of the increase that's expected from an operating standpoint for the S&P is actually derived from the energy sector. Uh, again, uh, you know, looking on a year over year basis, while we can talk about, uh, you know, how we're back in bear market territory, on a year over year basis, we've seen a significant increase in the price of crude. So that should, should be helpful to, to reported earnings, but their commentary as far as economic activity and expectations moving forward will be, you know, very uh, closely scrutinized. The commentary could overshadow the positive year over year comparables. Correct. All right, now where do you see opportunities in the stock market right now? We're still flirting with record highs. We are flirting with record highs, uh, but there has been significant you know, rotation within the market. It, it's very interesting to note that nine of the 11 economic sectors are in positive territory on a year-to-day basis. Uh, we've had uh, you know, size benefit, large caps have outperformed small. We've seen growth outperform value. From our perspective, we're continuing to find opportunities, select opportunities within uh, areas like technology. Uh, we've actually seen some, some opportunities in, in health care and uh, in, in finance as well. All right. We'll leave it there. Eric Weigand from U.S. Bank, thanks for coming back with us. Thank you very much. All right. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.